it was funny because I remember on my first day, the wardrobe man saying, whatever you do, don't tell those other actresses out there you've got new clothes. I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> and it's because most of the characters are already established. They're in a cafe, they're in a bar. So they wear the clothes from stock. But my character came in like that and she was a bit like that, you know, and she had, <laughs> a, like, she had all my new Karen Millen clothes. So, and because I was very nervous, I think I put across, I was like in my character the whole time. But I think actually with hindsight and maturity, I think they probably thought the same of me. Yeah. So I always felt like I was nibbling around the edge so of everything. So who were the big names then when you went oh, in? Oh, the big names was Martine, Courtney, Courtney, um, <laughs> Martin, Patsy, you know, Phil and Grant, Barbara, you know, Peggy. All, I mean, it was massive. Mm. At that time, it was 20 million. These people were mega stars. We would go on a night out and girls would be running, screaming down the street. It was... It was phenomenal, the wow. fame that they all had. And to walk into the Vic on your first... Your first time at all the regulars are there and they're all looking at you and sussing you out and wondering why you've got a new suit from Karen Millen, mm -hmm. even though you haven't told them you have. So it was really, really... I felt a bit uncool. I felt like a bit of a geek. I felt like the theatre nerd. You know, I'd go on these nights out and go, oh, you know, the EastEnders cast, and I was just felt a bit silly. And the first time I ever went out, I overdrank tequila by mistake because I was really insecure. <laughs> and I that fell no over mistake. and fell all the way down the stairs and I remember them walking over me, looking at me like, oh, well, who is this woman? So I just never felt like I'd got the right... Right step. And was it Phil Mitch? I know it's not Phil Mitch, or what's it? Steve McFadden Steve that, yeah. that was kind of your love interest. One of my love interests, I had many. And, and Steve actually said, I mean, why would I be going out with her? <laughs> and, and I remember the director saying, well, have a look at her. But me, because I was so insecure, I thought, yeah, why would he be going out with me? It was a really... And so all those things, I used to go home and I would drive myself crazy with what I thought people were thinking of oh, me. I was just... No. Young and just, so just paranoid. You had a dream job, but it wasn't a happy time. Oh, no, I wasn't happy at all when I was in EastEnders. I wasn't happy. No, oh. I wasn't happy. And um, it was... I was happy because I had some sort of success, but fame and money isn't what you think it is. And I, mm. and I realised that my dreams were quite shallow. And, and so I wanted to stay in, but I also wanted to leave, you know. And then, of course, you know, I had very... A real tragedy happened when I was there. You know, my my first husband died, and it was a truly, truly, truly awful time for everybody. And um, and you had to carry on working. <clears throat> well, I had to carry on working. You know, I was in the middle of a very big storyline, actually, and yeah, and that was really hard because the thing is, when you when somebody dies. So many people have an idea of how you should behave and what you should be. And I remember one day just saying, can somebody just give me the book on what I'm supposed to be doing? Because it's like, oh, I saw her laughing. Oh, I saw her doing this. I saw her doing that. And it was very hard because I was in the spotlight. You know, mm. I mean, OK, I was a sideline spotlight, but I was still in this... And, of course, you can imagine the feeding frenzy from a press with something like that. So it was it was a truly, truly horrific... I mean, I met you only about a year after that. I know, that. which I didn't realise until yeah. a long time after that, because obviously you were still traumatised. Yeah. That's not something you get over in that way. No. So how did your fellow cast members respond then to that? Well, I remember it was really funny because Wendy Richards, that everybody was scared of, you know, Pauline, you know, and I thought... And I also thought she didn't like me. And one of the first calls that I got was from Wendy Richards, and I'll never forget it. She said, I can have a car there straight away, and you just come, I've got this little flat and this muse, you can come and you can just stay there for as long as you like. And I just thought that was so... I've never forgotten that. Mm. I mean, I didn't take her up because I was really scared of her, but, <laughs> but it was just such a lovely... It was such a lovely thing to do, it really was, so... Yeah. So I'm guessing that leaving EastEnders for a whole host of reasons wasn't the worst thing. Oh, God, no, it wasn't the worst thing at all. It wasn't the worst thing at all. Um, you know, because I thought, oh, well, I'll go back to... I'll go back to, to you know, my theatre and that sort of acting, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Or Did Hollywood? <laughs> well, strangely, all that sort... Yeah, I mean, I had a lot of great things, funny things, yeah. It's, things happen, you know, with movies. I, di I have done movies. Um, I remember... Sorry, I'm a bit thrown by talking about I that. Know, I know, I know, I know. Yeah. I know. But well, take a pause. You know, it's, it's, it's really strange 
for me too because we've known each other all these years 20 years you and I did that very first show uh, together and we know each other really really well mm. but it is so odd you know here we are doing this in television and I kind of thought I knew everything about you and and you probably mm. I can see that you are rethinking things in your mm. head here in the moment and it's such a strange mm. thing but in this life is like isn't it therapy in a way isn't it what you're doing is going mm. back and looking with a maturer person life's changed yeah, looking is. back on life I mean mm. that that I mean you know that is a tragedy and how do you feel now that you know you've come out of that how well, do you feel is, about... I think what you just said there is true sitting here talking about all of this it's you know, just because I don't think about no. my time in EastEnders and I don't think about those insecurities and I don't think about the movies that I turned down because I didn't think I was going to be good enough and the opportunity to go, you know, I was asked to go. All these things I was asked to do and they were all my nose were rooted in. Why have these people asked me to do this? I, I have imposter syndrome. I always think someone's going to knock me on the back of my head. I'm terribly sorry, what are you doing in this television studio? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, so it is... But it's a good feeling, too, because I am so much more of a grown-up and I do know where all that came, came from.